Sick. Uh, we're gonna go cut some timber. Um, they're these funny wedge things. I'll put up a screenshot of the um, plans, but we're gonna grab some tools from here, head up to the mill. I've never done these before. I've never tried them. You're coming along for the ride for this one pretty much, but load some shit up, drop saw a bench. That could be about it. Maybe a circ saw and some ply. Um, yeah, we'll head up the hill and fucking see how we go. Game of Tetris. So I had it planned out to do, um, actually thought it was 100 mil wide and I had 150 so I was like worrying about how I'm going to cut it down to suit and then I read the plans wrong in the 200 wide. So now I've got to find more timber. Um, Options are buy a railway sleeper, cut that up, or mill a fresh log. So I've messaged the bloke for railway sleepers. Might go have a look back in the factory, see what I got there. Um, yeah, if not my worst case, is kind of just milling a fresh log. Which isn't the end of the world, but mildly annoying. Anyway, show goes on. They should work perfect. Beautiful. Still have to trim them up. There's plenty enough there to make it work. Okay. Yeah, too far long. It won't be like the most won't be the most efficient way to cut them, but it'll work get me out of a pinch but that's kind of the main thing sick we'll load them up and get the fuck out of here so yeah the benefit of using these is if I do run out I can go and get railway sleepers and they'll both be red gum. Second drive actually going to cut. This time we know we have timber. So because I've never cut these before or cut anything like it, today's aim for the next like five hours is just to cut one. Um, build a system around one and then I've got a hundred to do. So build the right system, cut a hundred in an hour. That's the plan. So currently my plan is to sit one of those on the bed of the mill, screw a jig to it, and then cut flat but have the piece angled. So I have to do 300 blocks first. Um, yeah, I also haven't set this mill up in a long time, so be a bit of a process. This is where the guesswork properly begins. 
Ugh, sorry. Um, I'm just gonna cut one and see how it goes. Got me bear up in the middle now. So there. Um, so my jig will sit on top of that, and then the idea is to cut along the back of it. So I'll mock one up on the drop saw now, and we'll see how we go. So these are just pine, but I'm going to trace them out um, as if they were the actual piece. So I figure if I put a template onto the bed of the mill, that should be a bit easier. Yeah, that's 10. That's the wedge that we've got to cut. That there. Been doing my best to not lose these drill bits. So far, it's working. Spit on it, fixes everything. Um, actually, we're gonna need them again, aren't we? You fuckhead. Let's do a block. Up the side and across the front, I reckon. This one we're just going to try and nail. It's only going to have force like coming down it, so. It's <clears throat> my thoughts anyway, we actually might not be able to nail the hardwood. That and the piece up the side. And a nice slow cut, we might get that. Ah. We'll bat and screw that piece in because I reckon that's going to. Pull. Might pull my nails out, that one will be alright because it's going to slide down. shift the camera around behind them.
is dead set silly enough to work. We're a little bit angled. That's fucking beautiful. So what's that? I want to pick that left hand side up a little bit. My test now will be if I can flip it over and get the other side good. That's fucking spot on. Alright, well we now know spinning it around to cut it won't work. But that's okay. That's an amazing clean cut though. I'm very happy. So that being what I would call successful, we will cut all 50 blocks. And then I'll just have to rip them down on the, um, I'll nearly be able to do it on the drop saw. Oh, fucking stoked. <laughs> this is one of those jobs I prized knowing the risk factor of not being able to do it. So to have it work that well on the first time, fucking amazing. This is roughly what we ended up with. I'm a young bloke out here now. Um, we got all of them cut. I don't know how they're going to go because they're a little bit splitty. Um, so we might have to do like, mostly do it out of these and then go and get some railway sleepers. Obviously I can't have them splitting. So they're 250 wide. Um, so by the time um, I cut 50 mil off them, I will be able to shave a little bit so they don't have to be perfect on the sides, which is one thing we have going for us. Um, so I've started cutting and then one of the little things I'll have to fix up tomorrow is that piece I had screwed to the side. Um, she caught and tore. So I'll just use a thicker piece, maybe hardwood there. And also did a bit of a fucking number there, but that's all right. It's only plastic, we'll cable tie that back together. So yeah, it went a heap better than I was expecting. I didn't expect it to cut that well straight out of the gate. Um, so not bad. I'll probably turn this into a video and then if something exciting enough happens, I'll turn it into part two. But from here, it's kind of just production line. Like you saw me build the jig, start cutting them, work it all out. That's kind of all there is to it. Now it's just repetitive. Like I spent, the battery drop saw was not a good idea for cutting all those. There's 250 by 50 mil red gum sleepers pretty much. Um, so it took about three 12 amp hour batteries to get through. Um, and probably, oh, an hour. I, know, I fucked around a lot, the Savo had some phone calls and shit too. So yeah, well, hopefully that part goes a bit quicker and that I can still get two out of each side. So I think we'll call that that on this video.